At 71 years old, Terence Michael Pagula has managed to make a fortune in oil and gas and has since turned it into a sports empire, Pagula Sports and Entertainment. This empire includes the National Football League's Buffalo Bills and the NHL's Buffalo Sabres, which he controls together with his wife, Kim Pagula. He gained his wealth through investing in fracking and owns businesses in professional sports, real estate, entertainment, and natural gas development. Moreover, he's a multi-billionaire American businessman and petroleum engineer worth $6.7 billion. But where did he start? How did he amass such a fortune? Terry Pagula was born in Carbondale, Pennsylvania on March 27, 1951. His father worked in truck driving and coal mining. He attended his high school studies at Scranton Preparatory School. From there, he attended College of Pennsylvania State University, where he earned a Bachelor of Science degree in Petroleum and Natural Gas Engineering in 1973. After graduating from Pennsylvania State University, he got his first job with Getty Oil in Victoria, Texas. He later joined Fellman Oil Co. and moved to Western New York. Terry resides in Boca Raton, Florida with his second wife Kim Pagula, a Horton College alumna who was up in Fairport, New York. The couple currently has five children, two of whom are from his previous marriage. And so, after university, how did he build his sports empire? At first, in 1983, he founded East Resources, a U.S. natural gas and oil exploration company, using $7,500 borrowed from friends and family to drill sand wells. Over the course of 27 years, he transformed the business into one of the most successful privately held energy corporations in the United States. In 2009, he started selling off the majority of the company's assets. According to reports from Bloomberg News, press announcements, and an article in the Oil & Gas Financial Journal, Pagula received $5.3 billion before capital gains taxes and after taking into account company debt that was eliminated in the sales. This is where the majority of his wealth came from. He then decided to use that money for other ventures. But where, exactly? In 2011, Pagula bought the Buffalo Sabres professional hockey team and their arena for $189 million. According to a Sportico report from October 2021, the team is currently worth $600 million. He didn't stop there. In 2014, he bought Buffalo Bills for $1.4 billion. He is the only owner of the team, and there are no obligations to the company. Pagula has also introduced a craft beer with the One Buffalo name through a collaboration with Southern Tier Brewing Company, which is available at all of Pagula's facilities as well as other locations in the area. Along with the luxury cupcakes created by Pagula's wife, who's a well-known dessert enthusiast, the One Buffalo brand has also been expanded to a flavor of Perry's ice cream. And guess what? Pagula is also the operator of KeyBank Center and Blue Cross Arena. In 2017, Pagula purchased 79 Perry Street close to KeyBank Center and collaborated with Labatt USA to redevelop the structure into a mixed-use complex that houses Labatt's US headquarters, Pagula Sports, and Entertainment's headquarters, a restaurant called The Draft Room, a small test brewery called the Labatt Brew House, and residential space. Surprisingly, a portion of the indie country music label Black River Entertainment is also owned by Pagula. The Black River label, situated in Nashville, Tennessee, is home to artists like Kelsey Ballerini, Kelly Pickler, and Craig Morgan, as well as the associated Black River Publishing and Soundstage Studio. At first, in 2012, he won a proposal for the right to develop the Webster Block on Buffalo's waterfront. The $170 million Lacombe Harbor Center building, which features two rinks, a sizable parking garage, retail, restaurants, and a hotel. Impact Sports Performance, two high-performance athletic training centers with locations in Boca Raton, Florida, and Lacombe Harbor Center in Buffalo are also part of the Pagula Group. Now, you might be wondering, what are some of his simple interests? Without a doubt, Pagula has been labeled a Republican, but he keeps his precise political beliefs to himself. Pagula and his wife have contributed to both incumbent and non-incumbent politicians. For instance, during the 2010 Pennsylvania governor's race, Pagula and his wife contributed $305,000 to Republican Tom Corbett's campaign. They were the largest donors to the incumbent Pennsylvania Attorney General. 
In New York, Bagula and his wife contributed $25,000 to the governor of New York, Andrew Cuomo, during the 2014 elections. They also contributed $12,000 to the Democratic candidates for the governor of Buffalo, Byron Brown, U.S. Senator Chuck Schumer, and State Senator Tim Kennedy. Apart from politics, he gave $102 million to Penn State University to build the Pagula Ice Arena on campus. Moreover, he gave $12 million to New York's Horton College in order to pay for the Kerr Pagula Sports Complex. When it comes to spending, don't be surprised he owns a super yacht. But how unique is it? The billionaire, together with his wife and family, spends most of his vacations on his super yacht. This is the hack vault that has been given the codename project YN251. She currently goes by the name Top 5 2. On the other hand, it's believed that Terry Pagula does not own a jet since he uses net jets for transport. With his wife, he lives in a square foot house which includes a 10 car air conditioned garage with room for two stretch limos and its heated outdoor pool, which holds 40,000 gallons and features waterfalls, spas, and rocks that resemble granite. The home's eight bedrooms and nine bathrooms also include an upper groom's quarters and a stable with 35-foot ceilings and eight stools. The home has several sporting amenities, including two tennis courts, a basketball court, and a sizable pool. He seems to enjoy the lavish life and conquering the entertainment and sports industry. But the question is, will he succeed?